Walden. All his own. And when he's on... But I think to the middle, they're very, very what? tight. Yeah, I've always thought with these tables that you always get a full bounce, which what it means is it can make the pockets a little bit tighter at pace because you get it, it sort of pushes the ball away from the from the cushion, and then obviously when you go into the jaw, that makes them tighter. So obviously when you drop them in, that doesn't really affect it like that. So I think you have to be aware of that when you're playing. But some players like to punch the ball, so it's it's a it's not what they feel natural with. So, but I've always said if you hit the middle, they're going in. And early on, I think Four. it's a recurring theme if a player in their first match is out of position. Far more often than not, it's because they've overcooked position. Five. High level, which is obviously capable of, um, and like we said before, it's, it's that. The, in this red now is right. opening the pink up so all of a sudden this table is looking a lot better uh, you'll just try and pick these off you don't need to move any yet keep a tight white really be focused on getting absolutely perfect because you can get a bit sort of relaxed and then Chris. you just lose your way you've got to play off a couple of cushions and then the next thing it unravels so staying focused really important in this position Sixteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Cheers, Ricky. Always nice to be. In the and where it's really beneficial to be in the top 16 30. and obviously the Masters as well which is you know arguably the second best, best event so um, yeah it's becoming more important again 30. Uh, needing to win the tournament 30. to be in the Tour Championship to be in the top 16 so be a seeded player for the Crucible also to gain an invitation to the champion of champions and he decided just ran out of steam 44 yeah there was a few of us watching that um i think there was even for the bonus the uh the the, the big bonus as well wasn't exactly it? Yeah. yeah yeah i think that was quarter of a million is that right is that it was a lot of money it was it, was, <laughs> it paid the gas bill so um yeah we was all watching you could just see it was that that opportunity and unfortunately for ricky he didn't sort of achieve that but um I think today I, I vaguely mentioned that, and it was just he said at the time, I'm just I was just happy to be sort of in that position and just be playing again, and because obviously the previous two seasons weren't nothing like that. So um, yeah, you're just enjoying the journey, really. Fifty-one. Yeah, I think he can look on that now more philo philosophically than he he did at the time, because he then went to the the World Championship qualifiers and lost in the last eighty, surprisingly, to Alan Taylor, six-four. He came so close to scooping the pool. Yeah, it's just, uh, but then losing first match in the world, he'd be disappointed. But again, it just shows you the strength of the game, really. You can't take anything for granted. No matter how well your form is or how you're playing, you can get beat. You know, the days where you sort of feel like you're guaranteed to win a couple of matches are gone. Uh, he's never been out of position. 65. Even though they were everywhere, you, you can still fall out of position, but one of. Yeah, oh. I think start with that, but no good. Ricky Walden, 71 on the first frame. 